overall, a three and eight mark. In the MEAC, that's ninth place in conference play. Morgan looking to end what has been a four-game slip slide. Morgan looking to put the brakes on that losing streak, looking to turn it around, but of course won't be easy as the orange and the blue are looking to turn it around against a team that's been playing the best basketball in all the MEAC, the green and the gold of Norfolk State. 16 and 11 overall, the Spartans are 11 and one in conference play, two games better than anybody else in the MEAC. That separation is good enough that if they win today, the if uh, North Carolina A&T should suffer a setback today, that would put the icing on the cake. The Spartans would be your 2018-2019 regular season champions in the MEAC. Let's beat the starters. Let's begin with the five on the floor to get the party started for the Spartans of Norfolk State under the leadership of head coach Robert Jones. Coach Jones is in his sixth season with the Spartans. These are the five on the floor. We begin in the backcourt with the six foot one inch, 220 pound sophomore guard, Mastati Pitt. Mastati Pitt will be running the show for the Spartans in the backcourt. He gets a starting nard, a starting assignment at guard. Also in the backcourt will be Stephen Whitley. He's six foot three inch, red shirt junior. He'll also be in that starting lineup. And the best three-point shooter in all the MEAC, Derek Jamerson. This boy is shooting 52% from beyond the arc. Not only is that the best on the team, not only is that the best in the MEAC, yeah, boys and girls, that's the best in America. 52% from beyond the arc is getting it done. The best three-point shooter in the country is in the gym tonight in Derek Jamerson on the low block for the Spartans. Also drawing the starting assignment will be Jordan Butler. That's the six foot six inch, 245 pound big boy on the block. And rounding out the starting five will be the six foot three inch junior from Arlington, Texas, Nick Thomas. So the five on the floor for the Spartans of Norfolk State will be Pitt, Thomas, Whitley, Jamerson, and Butler. As for Morgan State, under the leadership of head coach Todd Bozeman, Coach Bo's going to go this way with his five on the floor to begin the ball game. Running the point for Morgan State, going to be the senior from Chicago. Mark Taz Cameron will be at point guard for the orange and the blue. And also in that backcourt for Morgan, a young man that could make a big bid for rookie of the year in the MEAC. That's a six foot one inch freshman, Sherwin Devonis Prince, and rounding out. That three guard rotation for Morgan State will be Antonio Gillespie. He's been heating it up lately. Tone Gillespie, he's the senior from Memphis, Tennessee. He'll be in that Morgan starting lineup on the block for Morgan. At one forward will be Stanley Davis, a six foot five inch junior from Chester, Pennsylvania. And rounding out the starting five for Morgan, David Sifax, the six foot seven inch junior from Detroit, Michigan. Five on the floor for Morgan State. Sifax, Gillespie, Devonis Prince, Cameron, and Davis. And what sticks out to me, Coach Jimmy Fly, no Jordan Little, no Victor Curry in the starting lineup. Typically, one or the other gets a start for Morgan State. And that forces Stanley Davis into the four spot playing power forward. He always is getting into tough matchups with size and strength down in that low block. Haywood Bostick is the lead official. He'll have that opening toss in the air in the matter of moments as it's Morgan State and it's Norfolk State. Butler and Syfax at center circle. Opening toss is in the air. First touch of the ball game. It'll be a Spartan toss as they control in the half court. We are underway. Let's ball, y'all. Spartans and Bears from Hill Fieldhouse on the Morgan State campus. Steve Whitley feeds the wing. Left wing for Jamerson. He'll go up top with the rock for Mastati Pitt. Pitt to the cup, right hand. Lays it up, won't go. Whistle. Gonna get a hack. Offensive foul. Player control personal wow. against Mastati Pitt. Sophomore picks up his first, team's first. It'll be Bear Basket. It was spot on rotation there by Stanley Davis. Norfolk State starting out 2 2 1 pressure. First touch of the night for Morgan in the half court. Bears go to work. Freshman, top of the key. That's Devonis Prince. Left of the lane, a whistle. 
Offensive foul. This one works against Devonis Prince. The Morgan freshman turns it over. So the two teams trade player control personals for Devonis Prince, his first team's first. Well, you got to watch how this game is being called early and uh, take that to note if you're on the floor. In the half court, Steve Whitley controls. He'll feed Pitt. Mastati Pitt on the wing left side. He'll go up top with the rock back to Whitley. On the wing, right side, Nick Thomas. Nick still has his dribble on the bounce with the left hand. Steps inside the arc. He'll leave it on the wing. Almost throws it away. Retrieved by Whitley. His kiss off glass, no good. Whitley climbs high, gets the offensive board. Spartans go to work in the half court. Three on the way. That's Derek Jamerson. Again, he's the best field goal three-point shooter in America. Drops the three ball. Spartans off the box with a bang. They have the three-nothing lead. In the half court, spot up jumper is good by Stanley Davis. He drops the deuce. Morgan on the board. The Bears climbing within 3 2. Davis got to make, make the Spartans pay for putting big guys on him, pull him away from the basket, look for his jump shot. In the half court, Spartans go to work. Stoddy Pitt left the lane. Bounce pass on the block for Butler. Jordan Butler, he'll back in low post against side backs. He's walking with the rock. A little extra step by Butler. Good D that time by Sapax turns him over. It'll be Bear basketball. Morgan with the walk up. Some full court pressure by the Spartans. Devin is Prince. Gets it to Martez Cameron. Tez in the half court on the bounce with the right hand. He'll go baseline right up top. Devin is Prince. Top of the key. Dribbles inside the arc to kick to Tez along the baseline. Skip pass. Goes sailing out of bounds. Last touch by Morgan. Could it be Spartan basketball? Norfolk State will inbound. Come back the other way early in this one. We're just a couple of minutes in. It's a 3-2 Norfolk State lead. With the walk up, here comes Mastati Pitt. Picked up by Morgan State's Martez Cameron. Pitt in the half court finds Butler. On the wing, Nick Thomas. Nick on the bounce, right hand. Thomas goes up top, Stephen Whitley. Whitley will leave it right wing, Derek Chamberson. He'll go baseline with the ball poked away. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Morgan. It'll be Spartan pass. That was a heads up play by Cameron there because Butler would have had a wide open Two tomahawk hand yeah. slam. Yeah, because Gillespie got caught on a switch on him. He was calling for side backs to switch back, but it was too late. Nick Thomas to inbound. Off the entry, Steve Whitley. Entry pass, Butler. Jordan on the bounce, in the paint. Wills lines, lays it up. Blocked by Morgan State's David Sidefax gets the rebound. Back to the wake of the Bears. In the half court, Martez Cameron. Tez on the bounce, right hand up top, Sidefax. Sifax steps inside the arc, spots up for the jumper. Rise Ram won't go. Whitley collects the carom for the Spartans. North for State comes back the other way. Spartans have the basketball. Spartans have the three two lead. Bounce pass, low block. Butler, one bounce on the block. Shot blocked by, by Stanley Davis, but it was going to get a hack. Beneath the hole with 17 23 remaining in the opening half. Stanley Davis picks up his first team second. See, LG, I disagree with that call, but they're calling things tight early. Syfax held uh, Butler up, and just because Davis swings wildly, he got all ball. You can't call what you think might have happened. There wasn't no body contact. The big body, Jordan Butler, at the free throw line, 6'6", 245. Redshirt senior for Hartford, Connecticut. Missed the first free throw. He'll have another looking to extend Norfolk State's early 3-2 lead. Butler takes and makes the second Alex three throw. Long, Norfolk two, State six, up four to two. Four. Jordan Butler steps on to the floor for Morgan State. He replaces David Sifax in that bare lineup. Off the May free throw, here come the orange and the blue. Left to right, Devin is Prince operates in the half court. Morgan, freshman on the bounce with the right hand. Operates on the wing right side. Inside the arc, spots up, takes the jumper. Back rim, no good. Rebound loose on the floor, knocked out of bounds. Last touch, a Spartan touch. It'll be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound in the half court. Fresh shot clock, 17.07 remains. We're in the opening half. An early 4-2 lead for the Norfolk State Spartans. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bear's going to sub in. Here comes Tyson a sophomore Rawls from Delaware. Kyson Rawls will replace Morgan State's Martez Cameron. Kyson Rawls going to trigger in the entry as the Bears operate in the half court. Off the entry, Devin is French. Morgan Freshman on the bounce with the right hand. Prince goes up top, Stanley Davis. Davis dribbles around the perimeter. Hands off to Antonio Gillespie. Up top, Jordan Little. Little, a couple of dribbles left hand. He'll give it up to Rawls. He's going to whistle a moving screen on Jordan Little. His first team's third. Yeah, that, those dribble handoffs with the big guys, they, 
key. You got to come to a jump stop and then get like a hesitation second before you start moving into defenders. Spartans going to walk it up. Spartans up a deuce of four to two with the walk up. Mastati Pitt, he'll leave it on the wing, left wing for Alex Long. Long finds Nick Thomas back to Long. Alex lays it up right hand. Reverse runner won't go. Rebound corralled by Pitt. Mastati lays it up left hand. It goes. Gets the bucket. Draws the foul. Mastati Pitt on his way to the free throw line. Looks to complete the three-point play. Jordan Little picks up a personal with his first team's fourth. Well, gee, Jordan Little did everything right defensively, got the miss, but they didn't pick up that 50-50 ball. Looks like he made a bad play, but he didn't. He just got caught in the wrong place, wrong time. I was just going to say that's the second 50-50 ball that Norfolk has won in this game. It's led to five points. The first one was Jamerson knocking down the three. And now here, another potential three-point play. Antonio Gillespie out of the ball game, replaced by Vic Curry in that Morgan lineup. Mastati Pitt will take and miss the free throw. Could not complete the three-point play. Rebound Bears. Morgan walks it up down four. Six to two is the Norfolk State lead. In the half court, Bears turn it over. Stolen by Steve Whitley. He'll find Pitt. Alley oop lob thrown away. And ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Norfolk. It'll be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound down six to two. With the walk up, here comes Morgan State's Isaiah Burke. Burke operates in the half court. He'll feed Devonis Prince on a bounce with the right hand. Devonis Prince steps inside the arc. Devonis Prince to the cup, lays it up, right hand shot block. Rebound Bears, Stanley Davis to the cup. He'll lay it up, won't go. A whistle, we get a foul. This goes going to work beneath the rack. Works against the Spartans of Norfolk State. Stops the clock with 16-12 remaining in the opening half a play Morgan down six to two and that was a heads up play there by Stanley Davis running to the rock putting it back up and they they need his offense because he he, he had a two-week stretch where he was really going offensively but I think it took a toll with him defensively having to guard these bigger players down in the paint it takes your legs from you then he looks like he got spring in his step today maybe with the layoff but for them to win they need him to 15 20 points Stanley Davis takes and makes the free throw the Morgan State junior will have one more shoots 79 percent on the season from the strike he's two for two from the free throw line Morgan cuts the gap six to four Spartans up a deuce Spartans with the rock Moss Stoddy Pitt the sophomore gets it across timeline met there by the Morgan freshman Isaiah Burke cross court pass bounce pass on the wing left side is where he finds Alex Long up top Nick Thomas around the perimeter Steve Whitley Whitley Feeds the wing, Pitt, Mustadi on the bounce, right hand, 10 on the shot clock. Top of the key, Stephen Whitley dribbles the paint down the lane, left hand scoop, won't go, blocked by Vic Curry, ball out of bounds. Last touch, a Morgan Media touch. Time. We see the immediate It'll impact, Spartan Vic Curry. Basketball. His length deflecting that shot. We're going to take time out, fellas. It comes with 15.45 remaining in the opening half as we step aside your score. Norfolk State Spartan 6, Morgan State Bears 4. Back right after this, you're listening to Morgan State University Basketball. Saturday. We got the Morgan State University Bears. We got the number one team in all the MEAC, y'all. Norfolk State Spartans in the house. Off timeout, three to shoot as the Spartans will inbound. Off the entry, Spartans spot Steve Whitley. 
Whitley loads and fires from deep. Back rim, no good. Offensive rebound corralled by Derek Jamerson. Spartans go back to work in the half court. Baseline three, Nick Thomas. Nick hits the triple from the corner pocket. Right side extends the Spartan lead to nine to four. And that was surgical. Down in the post, quick touch pass back out to the three. On the other end, Bears go to work. Kyson Rawls, the sophomore from Delaware, on the bounce with the right hand. Rawls has it on the wing right side. Up top, Stanley Davis. Left wing, Isaiah Burke steps inside the arc to kick to Davis. Stanley spots up inside the arc, knocks down the deuce. At six early points for Stanley Davis, Morgan climbs to within nine to six. Well, he's looking good, and I said they, they're going to need him to score the basketball to win. On the other end, Sparks control. Steve Whitley picks up the pill. Top of the key, three. Nick Thomas back to back bombs by Nick Thomas. Huh. As the Spartans extend the cushion to 12 to 6. He's in a rhythm. His release good, looks good as follow through as well. He dropped a 20 spot last year on Morgan. Three ball. Isaiah Burke. Yes, sir. Freshman drops the triple from the top of the key. Morgan climbs within 12 to 9. That's what I thought he could bring a second shooter to go with Rawls' three point efficiency. On the other end, Mastati Pitt on the bounce with the left hand. Masati, top of the key, dribbles a paint. Ball stripped but retrieved by the Spartans. Whitley loses the handle. Ball's loose on the floor. Kyson Rawls ahead of the pack. Stanley Davis, he's grabbed, lays it up, and in. Gets the bucket. Jerome's the foul. Strip and athleticism by Stanley Davis. Hoop in the harm on his way to the strike. Looks to complete the three point. And play. LG, they also called a flagrant on that. The Fisher Day. Yeah, he grabbed him. Wasn't going for the basketball. Stanley Davis delivers. See, Morgan. I'm sorry, LG, but Davis not having to guard people in the post. He's out on the perimeter now, so when he gets those steals, he get a run out at 6-5. He can be on the attack like Taiwan Kenley used to do last year. Right. We got a pause in play as the officials are going to peek at the monitor to confirm the call on the floor which was a flagrant, but we'll see whether that flagrant will stand. Uh, it appeared that the defender was not going for the basketball. He just kind of grabbed and bear hugged Stanley Davis. So to the naked eye, to me, it appeared that that flagrant call was legit. And I think it's going to stand as Morgan may get the basketball as well as the free throw coming up from Stanley Davis. Well, it's big and he's off to a good start right now. He's on pace early in his game to drop 20 in this one. Well, he has eight of Morgan's 11 points. Does Stanley Davis early in this ball game. Morgan down 12 to 11. But that's why I think it helps having Curry back healthy. You rotate, even if they play only one big with side facts, Little or Curry, you can rotate people in and out and give uh, Davis some more opportunities to score. That's Coach Jimmy Fly, LG, that's me. Get Austin Ward in the house. We got the Norfolk State Spartans, best team in the MEAC at 11 and 1. We got the Morgan State Bears. We are early in this one. 14 15 remaining in the opening half. Morgan down 12 to 11, and we got a pause because the officials are trying to make a flagrant foul determination. It would be assessed against Norfolk State, Nick Thomas. Uh, they're going to uh, call it. Yeah, they're going to call the flagrant. We yeah. thought that's what we saw. So Nick Thomas will be assessed the flagrant. So Stanley Davis will be at the free throw line. And after the free throw, Morgan will get possession of the basketball. You see, I, I'm glad that they confirmed, but the referee clearly called it to begin with. So why do you got to confirm what you saw to begin with? Unless somebody else, one of the other officials disputed. Well, they wanted to confirm the confirmation to make sure it was confirmed. <laughs> So now so, we're confirmed. So help you God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Stanley Davis is going to clear the lane because whether he yeah, makes it or misses it, Morgan is going to get the basketball back. So no need for anybody in the lane. Stanley Davis will try to tie the score. 12-11 is where we sit with 14-15. Remaining, we're in the opening half. Davis takes and bricks the free throw. Back rim, no good as Stanley Davis could not complete the three-point play the old school way. But Morgan will have the rock any old way as the Bears will inbound beneath the bucket. Down one at 12 to 11. Isaiah Burke, the freshman, will trigger in the entry for Morgan State. Burke off the entry. Up top spots Devonis Prince. Dribbles around the trap. He'll go opposite wing for Stanley Davis. Back to Devonis Prince. 
Sherwin Devin is Prince between the circles. On the bounce with a right hand. Feeds the wing. Antonio Gillespie up top. Isaiah Burke. Burke right of the lane. He'll lay it up. Right hand off window. Won't go. Rebound corralled by Burke. Loses the handle, but a reach a whistle. A hack. Going to work against the Spartans. As, uh, yeah, foul looks like foul against uh, Whitley. As it comes at the 13.58 mark. As actually going to get Derek Jamerson, the three-point shooter, picks up his second. Team's third. And he just didn't give up on the play, Isaiah Burke. Isaiah Burke cannot get the free throw to go down, though. Freshman misfires on the free throw toss. 15 of 18 on the season coming into this game was Burke. But he missed the free throw. Meanwhile, Martez Cameron back on the floor. He replaces Devin as Prince in the Morgan lineup. Isaiah Burke, meanwhile, misses both free throws. Morgan remains down 12-11 despite having multiple opportunities to tie this ball game. Rebound Sparks. Ball stolen by Vic Curry. Curry in the lane is stripped. Gets it back. He'll feed Burke. Baseline tone. Gillespie for three. Side of the rim, no good. Offensive rebound, Morgan Stanley Davis. Morgan resets. Fretz 30 with 13-35. Remaining opening half. Morgan down one at 12 to 11. Last couple 50-50 balls. Morgan State digging them out. In the half court, three on the way. Tone Gillespie rattles out, won't go. Rebound brought down by Jordan Butler back in the way. Comes Martin Steve Whitley down the lane. Gonna get a reach, a whistle, gonna get a hack, gonna get the freshman. Isaiah Burke picks up the personal uh, for Burke. And that'll be his first team's fifth. But both uh, Burke and Curry, LG, making positive contributions after not, after both being out with injuries for some time. Steve Whitley will be at the free throw line for the Spartans of Norfolk State. Whitley had quite the game last Saturday against a and Almost a triple-double. You don't see triple-doubles in college basketball too much. He had 15 points. He had 11 rebounds. And he had nine assists. One assist shy of a triple double was Whitley last Saturday against AT. Misfired on his first free throw. Whitley has another. Shoots 59% from the strike. Whitley will take. Left hander can't make either free throw. Rims out, no good. Missed them both. Gonna be bare basketball. It remains 12 11. Spartans on top of Morgan State. To the cup, Malik Miller has a shot blocked. The follow by Martez Cameron, also off target. Rebound Spartans looking to increase their one point lead. Whitley feeds down low. One hand, right hand stuff by Alex Long. Extends the lead to 14 11. Norfolk State got Butler and Long in the game. It's 6 8. They're going big. On the other end, Morgan goes to work. Martez Cameron on the bounce with a right hand. Up top, Stanley Davis. Davis at the free throw line. The kick to Tone Gillespie around the perimeter for Cameron. Martez with the hook in the lane. It rims home for Martez Cameron. Martez. His first deuce Cameron. on the day. Morgan climbs to within 14-13. Spartans up by one. On the other end, Norfolk State goes to work. In the half court, Steve Whitley feeds the wing. Right wing, C.J. Kelly. Kelly back to Whitley. High post, Alex Long. Low post, Butler. Stripped of the rock, a reach, a whistle, a hack. I believe Tone Gillespie is going to pick up the personal. Antonio picks up his first team six. And this is where Morgan can get in trouble defensively with Long and Butler in the game. They brought Long out in a high, uh, low action with Butler posting up, side facts fronting him, and then they just lobbed the ball over the top. Gillespie forced a foul. Jordan Butler, that's the big 245-pound forward. He'll take and make the free throw. Butler has one more. 15-13 is the Norfolk State lead. Butler, red shirt senior from Hartford, Connecticut, has one more toss coming his way. Takes it, makes it. And Morgan State LG going real small. Side facts and four guards. So Norfolk State will have mismatches. In the half court, Kyson Rawls loads and fires from deep. Knocks down the triple. Three ball falls for Kyson Rawls. We're tied at 16 and 16. Yeah, Butler went for the steal, didn't get it. Rawls made him pay. Got burned. On the other end. Spartans go to work. Up top between the circles, Nick Thomas feeds the wing Masadi Pitt. Low block, Jordan Butler backs in a couple of dribbles. Jump hook in the lane, rides home for Jordan Butler. That's his first field goal of the ball game, fifth point of the ball game. Spartans back on top, 18-16. Other end Morgan, freshman Devin is Prince. Hacked in the paint. Believe they're going to get Butler. Yeah, the Butler did it. 
he picks up his first personal of the ball game. Be the team's fourth. We'll put Devinus Prince at the free throw line. He'll be shooting a pair for the Bears. And that's a big bundle. He got that barrel chest. He's a load down there. Rawls, a two guard, trying to handle him in the post. Couldn't do it on one end. They're able to tack him off the dribble. Hopefully get him in the foul trouble. Have him take a seat. We're going to step aside. Get a timeout. Comes with 11.40 remaining. Opening half of play. As we step aside, your score. Norfolk State Spartans 18. Morgan State Bears 16. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State University Basketball. It's now time for today's dress up race, sponsored by Glory Days Grill. Today's contestants are Gabby and Nia. Today's contestants will race to the center court, court, put on a Morgan State uniform and dribble their way back for a layup. Contestants on your mark, get set, go. Ready to go. Court side, worldwide. Hoop happens here. Hillfield House, South Campus, Morgan State University. Lamont Germany along with coach Jimmy Fly, Austin Ward. With 11.40 remaining. Before halftime, Jimmy Fly, two point separation. Spartans have the 18 16 lead. Yeah, and it looks like we're having another confirmation meeting. I don't know if it's for a Supreme Court nominee or not, LG, but we're going to have a little delay here as the Morgan State Bear doing a little two step, two twice. A little fun here at Hill Field House on the Morgan State South campus. As again, they were looking at the monitor, taking another peek, taking another look see, but after the peak, looks like no adjustment in the call. It'll be Devinus Prince, the Morgan State freshman at the free throw line. 89% on the season. Leading free throw shooter in the MEAC. Shooting a pair for the Bears. Takes and makes the LG, first free throw. For, for him, he's been cold of late. He, he got up to about 92. He's down to 89 if, if, if 89 is cold. Yeah, he was up as high as 94 at one point. Uh, leading the country. Uh, now he's uh, still leading the MEAC as he dropped to 89. Makes them both, however. Two for two from the free throw line for Devin and Prince. Morgan State climbs to within 18. 60. Back the other way comes Sparks. The ball stripped. Ball stolen. Tyson Rawls leads the break for the Bears. Lob the side back. Throws it down with two hands. David delivers. Morgan ties the game at 18 and 18. Well, that's where they can get the advantage with the small ball, getting out and running off the steals. In the half court, Mastati Pitt on the bounce left hand. Splits the defenders. Baseline lays it up. Won't go, but a whistle. Going to get a blocking by. Down low, I believe they're going to get David Sidebacks well, for the personal. The Morgan Jr. picks up his first team's first seven. Team foul, you seven. literally have four point guards on the floor with uh, Sidebacks at the five spot. A lot of speed. They should be able to get in transition, hopefully space the floor and knock a couple threes down. That was well. a beautiful play lead out with Kyson Rawls and Sidebacks. Yeah, because he led him to the rim. A lot of guys throw the ball. When the guy's 10 feet from the basket, you got to put it right on the rim, let him go get it. Mastani Pitt at the free throw line for the Spartans of Norfolk State. The sophomore misses his first free throw. Last year as a freshman, the team voted him the rookie of the year on the team a season ago. In his sophomore season, he got one more stroke coming from the stripe. He'll take it and make it one of two from the free throw line for Mastani Pitt. Spartans reclaim the lead at 19-18. We have 11.05 remaining. We are in the opening half. On the other end, Bears go to work. Up top, Martez Campbell. On the bounce with the left hand is the Morgan senior. Feeds the wing, Tone Gillespie. Back up top, 
for Martez with 10 to shoot. Steps inside the arc to kick up top. Tyson Rawls back to Tez. Open for three. Takes it. Strokes it. Martez Karen carries the ball from the wing right side. Morgan has their first lead of the night. 21-19 over Norfolk. And when they set that screen and then pass it back out, they had multiple options to knock down that three. On the other end, Spartans control up top. Jordan Butler, Butler between the circles, a kick on the wing right side. C.J. Kelly, Kelly has the baseline cut off, so he'll back off. Has it now on the wing right side. C.J. goes baseline for Pitt. Mustadi for three. Rats rim won't go. Rebound. Morgan State's Antonio Gillespie. Outlet. Tez Cameron. Tez comes back the other way. In the half court, handoff to Evanus Prince. He'll kick it on the wing for Rawls. Kyson for three. Side of the rim, off target, no good. Rebound corralled by Nick Thomas. Here come the Spartans. In the half court, Jordan Butler to the cup. Big boy lays it up and in. Gets the bucket, draws the foul. Jordan Butler on his way to the stripe. Looks to complete the three-point play. Antonio Gillespie was looking to draw the charge, but instead they get him for the block. His second, uh, team's eight. LG, he was, but I think he had second thoughts when he saw Butler barreling down. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, he, he's going to feel that tomorrow. That's big boy. Uh, they list him at 245, Jordan Butler. I think that's just because he got 45 on the back of his jersey. Okay, that might be it. But uh, <laughs> he's a big body, and he's at the strike. He'll look to give the Spartans the lead. We're deadlocked to 21 and 21 with 9.53 remaining opening half. Jordan Butler leading the way with seven first half points for the Spartans. He'll take and make the free throw, make it eight points in the first half for Butler. Spartans back on top, 22-21, 9.50 remaining opening half. Other and Morgan in the half court. Devin is Prince feeds Martez Cameron. The Morgan senior from Chicago barks out signals from the top of the key on the bounce with the right hand up top. Kyson Rawls. Rawls couple of dribbles left hand. He feeds the wing. Devin is Prince back to Rawls. Kyson goes baseline for Southback. Two hand flush for David Southback. Morgan back on top 23 22. And right now, from a coaching perspective, Coach Fly, that dribble penetration by Morgan's guards. Causing Norfolk issues because they have the threat of the three. And, well, Rawls is a threat of the three on that side of the floor. On the other end, Mastati Pitt on the bounce with the right hand. Pitt hands off Jordan Butler. Butler on the dribble right hand. He'll give it up for Steve Whitley, top of the key, right of the lane. Whitley bounce pass to Butler along the baseline. His nice. 15 footer is good. Jordan Butler drops the deuce. He's in double digits. It's wow. 10 point evening going on. Spartans back on top, 24-23. That's a nice soft touch by the big fella. Oh, yeah. On the other end, Martez Kevin on the bounce right hand. Tez with the pull-up. Rats ran, won't go. Put back by Sipax, off target, rebound Butler. As Spartans look to extend their one-point lead, it sits at 24-23. And on the baseline, ball poked away out of bounds. Last touch by Spartans. going to be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound and come back the other way. Well, one thing, when you play the small ball like Morgan does, it almost entices the Spartans to want to pound it in every time and uh, stay away from the three. Other end, Stanley Davis won't go, but there with the following flush is David Sifax. Morgan reclaims the lead at 25-24. Sifax pound, that's his third dunk in a row. On the other end, Spartans, Whitley, top of the key. Steve, entry pass, right of the lane. That's where he spots Alex Long. Spin move along the baseline for Long. He'll lay it off glass and in. That was a beautiful move. Alex Long with the Time deuce. We're going to get a timeout. Yeah. We will keep things here. Norfolk State gets the timeout. It comes with 8-11 remaining. What's been a back and forth. Close to fair, a dub. Spartans up 26-25. And just to piggyback off what you said, Coach, I'd like to see David Syfax getting his game going three slams in a row because now he can get things going on both ends of the floor. That was, I mean, he took a long time, but that was a beautiful move by Alex Long. Oh, yeah, good footwork. And on the other hand, Syfax benefit from the dribble penetration from the guards. Everybody's collapsing on the Spartan defense, and then he's coming in from the weak side to clean up the misses. Yes, indeed. It's a Morgan State squad playing with the top team in the MIAC, at least for the first half of the opening half. We've got an entire ball game in front of us, but that's been the MO for Morgan. Playing close games with everybody, just not being able to finish in the end. See, I, I'm optimistic, LG, because of Curry and Burton back on the floor. Remember early in the year, they were going 10-12 deep in, in, in their rotations. They can get back to that now 
It helps Stanley Davis, who's gotten off to a good start in this game. It helps with fatigue, because they can really get after you defensively. The only team I worry about them playing at any time is, the, <laughs> is North Carolina. Coach Moten. Yeah, can't seem to figure that thing out, but we'll see whether or not the Bears and the Eagles hook up in Norfolk, Virginia. Again, we're a matter of weeks away. Morgan with just five more games left in the regular season. Trying to see if they can finish strong as Morgan has three of those five games here at home at Hill Fieldhouse on the Morgan State South Campus. Morgan wow. State now, they got Stanley back in the game with side backs. Let's see if Norfolk State State, no, that looked like they're, oh, they're coming in a 1-3-1. One, 1-3-1 three, one. One, three, one trap with Long at 6-8 out at the top. And the half-court Bears go to work. David Syfax on the block. The kick to Isaiah Burke. Three on the way. Back rim, no good. Rebound Syfax. He'll find Devonish Prince. Freshman fires. Knocks down the 12-footer. Serwin Devonish Prince with his first bucket of the ball game. Morgan back on top, 27-26. That was a nice open look there by Burke. Online just didn't go down. On the other end, Joe Bryant controls for the Spartans. Up top for Jordan Butler. Hands off Steve Whitley. He'll find Alex Long on the wing right side. Alex still has his dribble with 12 to shoot. Puts it on the floor with the left hand. Fade away, 15 feet away. Big time brick. Rebound, corralled by the Butler, Jordan Butler. Offensive rebound, Spartans, five on the shot clock. Three ball, Joe Bryant. It's off target. Back ram, no good. Another offensive rebound. Bryant along the baseline, lays it up and in. Joe Bryant with his first bucket of the night. Spartans reclaim the lead at 28 27. That was three bites at the apple. Other end, Morgan. That's Devonish Prince. He'll feed Stanley Davis. Davis on the bounce left hand. He'll feed opposite wing Mark Taz Cameron. Baseline Burke up top. Tez on the bounce left hand. He'll go back to Burke on the wing right side. Entry pass in the paint for Devin is Prince. Shot blocked by the Butler. Rebound Alex Long. Long goes back the other way. Euro step. He'll kick it to Mastani Pitt. Lays it up and in. Mastani Pitt with the deuce. He has five first half points. Spartans up three, 30 to 27. That's like a live ball turnover getting those shots blocked. Three ball Isaiah Burke. Burke delivers from the wing right side. Isaiah drops the triple. Second tray of the day. We're deadlocked at 30 and 30. Now, LG against the 1-3-1. One, one, that corner three ball will be open. You got to take it, make it. Joe Bryant in the half court on the bounce with the right hand. Bryant feeds baseline. That's the big boy. Jordan Butler on the bounce left hand. Picks it up, goes up top. That's where he spots Mastati Pitt. Three, top of the key. Mastati drops the triple. Top of the key, three. Gives the Spartans a three-point lead at 33-30. Both teams starting to heat up. On the other end, Morgan. Baseline triple, Isaiah Burke. Side of the rim, top of the rim, and won't fall in. For Isaiah Burke, a couple of dances on the rim, wouldn't go. Rebound, Spartans, a whistle, going to get a hack. This one works against Morgan, going to get Stanley Davis. His second. Team's ninth. That will put the Spartans at the line, shooting one and one with 546 remaining in the opening half. Opportunity to extend what is a three point cushion. It sits at Norfolk State 33, Morgan State 30. Well, Butler and Long uh, both taking a seat, LG. They just brought in number five on Marnie Branch, 6'7", redshirt senior. Morgan State not have to deal with that big tandem. Rebound, no good. Uh, the free throw, no good. Rebound, Bears. Back the other way. Comes MSU. In the half court, Martez Cameron on the bounce with the left hand. Up top, Rawls. Kyson for three. Front rim, no good. Rebound, the Morgan freshman, Isaiah Burke. Bears reload to go back to work in the half court set. Kyson Rawls is going to be bumped backside. Going to get Joe Bryant for the personal. Bryant picks up his first team's fifth. And, and with Butler and Long, uh, Long sitting down, um, they went out of the 1-3-1 one, back into the 2-3 matchup. Morgan State using the guard-to-guard -guard screening to free up uh, Kyson Rawls to get the three-point look. Off the entry, Rawls, catch and shoot three. Side of the rim, no good. Rebound, corralled by the Spartans. That's Kizani Davis with the rebound. Back of the way comes Spartans. In the half court, they poke it away. Those do the Bears put hands of Burke. They poke it away, but it'll be Spartan basketball with 5-16 remaining before half. Morgan, meanwhile, going to sub in. Here comes a Dubs favorite Bear. 
Tyler Streeter on the floor for the Orange and the Blue. Another three point threat. Looking to make something happen with 5 16 remaining before intermission. Off the entry, Steve Whitley on the bounce right hand. Whitley goes baseline with it. Baseline three on the way. Oh, yes, sir. Money. Three ball falls for Armani Brand. Branch. Off the bench, banging. Increases the lead to 36 30. And that's back to back threes for the Spartans. Three ball on the other end for Morgan. That's Kyson Wright. That's a Kyson connection. His second triple of the ball game. Morgan climbs within 36 30. Well, both teams late on the closeouts, paid with three balls. Steve Whitley goes up top. Nick Thomas on a bounce left hand for Nick. He'll hand off for Whitley. Loads and fires from deep. Front rim, no good. Three ball won't go. Put back by Nick Thomas, also off target. This time the rebound corralled by Morgan. Tyler Streeter, outlet Martez Cameron, left to right, orange and blue. In the half court, Streeter on the bounce right hand. Feeds Tez Cameron, the handoff to Rawls. Tyson for three. Back rim, no good. An in rhythm three ball, couldn't get it to fall. Other end, Sparks on the wing. Right side, three, no, actually dumping it down low. Layup, right hand, well, left hand won't go. Rebound fought for, controlled by Joe Bryant. He'll kick it to Branch, up top for Thomas. Right wing, skip pass to Whitley, three on the way. Off target, rebound, Morgan State, Stanley Davis. That was, that was one too many passes there for Norfolk. Bears will walk it up. We're inside of four minutes remaining. Opening half. In the half court, Kyson Rawls up top. Martez can. Tez picks it up, goes right wing. That's where he spots Kyson Rawls. Entry pass, Stanley Davis. Turn around, takes a shot. Won't go. Rebound, corral by the Spartans. Keontae Davis back the other way. Norfolk State. In the half court, Joe Bryant on the bounce right hand. Feeds Keontae Davis. He'll go baseline right with it for Nick Thomas. Spots up inside the arc, takes the jumper. It rattles home for Nick Thomas. Nick drops the deuce. He has eight first half points, extends the lead to five. 38 33, Norfolk State over Morgan State. On the other end, Kyson Rawls. Right wing, Martez Clint Cameron. Tez speeds right of the lane. That's Stanley Davis. Skip pass to Tyler Streeter. Up top, Rawls. Catch and shoot. Triple. Won't go, but a whistle. A hack. Going to get Joe Bryant for the personal. His second fouling a three point shooter. It will put Kyson Rawls at the strike. Shooting three for MSU. We are going to get a timeout. Let's step aside. Timeout comes with 3.06 remaining opening half. As we step aside, your score Norfolk State Spartans, 38. Morgan State Bears 33 back after this you're listening to Morgan. Red to go. Back at you. LG, that's me. Got the coach, Jimmy Fly. We got Austin Ward by my side. It's Morgan State, Norfolk State. We have 306 remaining opening half. Hey, Doug. Entertaining affair between the Bears and the Sparks. Entertaining affair indeed. Uh, I got my eyes on the uh, three-point field goal attempts. We have 11 in total for Norfolk. They've made five. 
Morgan State has attempted seven overall. Tyson Rawls, Tyson Rawls was shooting a three right before the timeout, and he was fouled in the act of shooting the triple. So he'll be shooting three from the free throw line, the Morgan sophomore from Newcastle, Delaware, where he normally gets it done from the charity stripe. And there's a scoreboard update. It did read 33 yeah, going into the immediate there was, timeout. There was a point that they didn't add earlier. So they Morgan had 34 instead of 33. 84% shooter from the stripe. He makes the first, has two more. Takes and makes the second free throw. And LG on that last three he took. He was three steps back from the three-point <laughs> line. But by having that range of defense, even the two, three has to stretch out to go guard him. That's how he's able to draw the foul. Has one more free throw coming. Takes it, makes it three of three from the free throw line. Nine first half points for Kaizen Rawls. Cuts the gap to one. Spartans have 38 37 lead. We have three minutes remaining in the opening half. In the half court, Spartans. Z. Anse Chavis speeds the wing. Right wing, Joe Bryan. Up top, Mustadi Pitt. Pitt will leave it on the wing. Right wing for Armani Branch. Back to Davis. Davis up top. Nick Thomas. Ted to shoot. Nick to the cup. Stripped to the rock. Ball loose. Out of bounds. Last touch, a Morgan touch. It'll be Norfolk State basketball. Seven on the shot clock. Because they got these small ball lineups. Even when you beat them off the dribble, there's always another quick guard waiting in help position to pick up the charge. Joe Bryant will trigger in the entry with seven to shoot, 243 remaining before halftime. Morgan State down, uh, down one, 38-37. That's the Norfolk State Spartan advantage. And LG the Spartans got Butler and Long back in for this final couple minutes going with the big ball lineup. Joe Bryant to trigger in the entry for Norfolk State. Off the entry up top, Nick Thomas on a bounce right hand. Nick goes around the screen, has it on the wing right side, baseline right, ball poked away. Last touch by Morgan. It'll be Spartan basketball, but only one second on the shot clock. You got to look for Butler or Long now. You can't let him catch a lob at the front of the rim. Joe Bryant will trigger in the entry with one to shoot. Bryant off the entry. We get a whistle as a kickball. And wow. uh, now oh. they're going to put 20 seconds. I was going to say that, that. That's the worst thing that you could have happen in that situation. So now the Spartans get a little comfort zone as they have 20 to shoot off the kick on Morgan State. They almost throw it away, but it's retrieved in the backcourt by Nick Thomas. He oh, thought yeah. there was one on the shot clock. He heaved up the <laughs> shot, but it was retrieved by the Spartans. So even when they do wrong, they do right. <laughs> As uh, Nick Thomas heaved up a prayer, didn't need to, but they convert anyway on the other end by Alex Long with the wow. lay-in right hand. Extend the lead to 40 to 37. Wow. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Spartans up three <laughs> and a half court. Isaiah Burke controls. He'll find Stanley Davis on the left wing for Kyson Rawls. 15 to shoot. We approach two minutes remaining in the half. Isaiah Burke on a bounce. Right hand loses the handle. It's stolen by the Spartans. Morgan looking to get it back, but the Spartans retrieve. All alone beneath the bucket. Right hand layup is good. Mustadi Pitt. Norfolk yeah. State now up five at 42-37. And you don't want to close the half like this as your Morgan State. Martez Cameron quickly up off the bench. In the half court, Burke on the wing right side. Streeter up top, Stanley Davis. Davis. Kicks it left wing. Kyson Rawls. Rawls top of the key. Between the legs with the dribble on the bounce left hand. Goes left wing. Stanley Davis. Ten on the shot clock. Kyson Rawls inside the arc. Right wing Streeter. Tyler Streeter for three. That's a Tyler Streeter connection. And need a basket. Much need a basket. Three ball. Right wow, wing by Streeter. Streeter. That's got to two. 42-40. That's smart lead. Minute ten remaining in the half. Other end Norfolk State. Mastati Pitt on the wing left side. On the bounce with the right hand. Operates between the circles. Pitt operates against Morgan's Tyler Streeter gets the screen. Around the screen, he has it on the opposite wing. Five on the shot clock. Pitt entry pass. Butler on the block. Butler kicks it to Pitt. Three on the way. Three ball falls for Mastati Pitt as the Spartans increase the lead to 45 40. But Butler in the post. Davis trying to front him. As soon as the ball goes in the post, Morgan doubles all the time. That leaves Pitt open for the inside out play. Little pushy shovey by Nick Thomas of the Spartans, Isaiah Burke of the Bears. The officials pull both players together, have a little conversation, just kind of a chill, chill out, fellas. 
tight confab didn't want to tee anybody up or throw anybody out but they just had a conversation about how we're going to proceed from this point forward and uh, Burke as a matter of fact going to have a seat Nick Thomas does stay in the game 49 seconds remaining in the half Morgan down 5 45 4 in the half court Morgan State's Martez Cameron senior from Chicago operates top of the key on the bounce with the right hand handoff to Devonis Prince has the ball poked away but retrieved by Kyson Rawls back to Devonis Prince on the bounce left hand Morgan State's freshman keeps the dribble alive has it along the baseline pulls up baseline jumper off target rebound Morgan State's Vic Curry Curry spots up for the jumper he's hacked right before the shot clock would have expired as Vic Curry were earn a trip to the strike gonna get Alex Long that's his first I tell you that was a really heads up play there by Vic Curry to corral that rock and then get it up well good awareness one he got the 50 50 ball but had the weather to know that shot clock was at two to get a shot up a couple of free throws coming for Vic Curry takes can't make the free throw just 40 percent on the, actually 70 percent on the season for Vic Curry but cannot connect on the first toss he'll have another at 6 8 he takes and makes the second free throw the junior from Chester PA one of two from the free throw line cuts the gap to 45 41 gonna get a timeout as the Spartans had problems with the inbound as uh, we'll get a timeout rather than risk a five second count so with 13 seconds remaining before intermission Morgan down four coach Jimmy fly Spartans 45 Morgan 41 two possessions that's how these games go for Morgan State but it's going to be a war of attrition remember Norfolk State's a second half team they play better scoring wise and shooting wise can Morgan State find those extra possessions and then convert to steal a win and send a uh, send a message you can beat them on your home floor that tells everybody when you go to Norfolk we can beat you that's coach Jimmy Fly breaking it down for you on a Saturday. Me, I'm LG. Also by my side is Austin Ward, triple threat, court side, worldwide. Hook happening on a MEAC Saturday. Bears against the Spartans of Norfolk State. Morgan down 45 41. It'll be Spartan basketball. They could play for the final shot of the half. They'll be inbounding in the backcourt off the timeout. Gonna have Mustadi Pitt triggering in the inbound. Off the entry, Alex Long. Long couple of dribbles back to court, gets it back to Pitt. Pitt in the half court. Hand off Joe Bryant, five seconds in the half. Bryant top of the key on the bounce with the left hand. Left of the lane, loses the handle. Stolen by Morgan's Vic Curry. A three quarter heat heave by Stanley Davis is off target. That's buzzer. That's the half. Let's go to the locker room, fellas. It's Morgan. And it's Norfolk State entertaining the fair here at Hillfield House. But Morgan hanging in with the number one team in the MEAC A dub. Bears are down four. Spartans in the locker room with the 45 41 lead. You know what? And, I, and I'll take it, especially with Norfolk shooting 55% from three back and forth. But I'll take the effort uh, by, by the Morgan State Bears in the opening half. I like what I see so far. Yeah, and they're going to have to, in the second half, diagnose. This uh, Norfolk State 2 3 matchup zone defense. Burke, Rawls, maybe sprinkle in some Gillespie, Streeter knock down a three. They're going to have to make threes, LG, because they're going to sit back in there and say, We're not going to let you just play small ball and dribble, penetrate. We're going to give you one crack at it, and then Long and Butler are going to handle the rebound and chores. Morgan State, Norfolk State, in an entertaining affair here at Hill Fieldhouse. They have reached intermission. Morgan State down four. A quick peek at the first half. Math looks this way. Morgan State University Bears trying to see if they can carve out a win against a team that sits atop the standings in the MEAC. The uh, Bears have nobody in double figures in the first half. Stanley Davis and Kyson Rawls lead the way for Morgan with eight points apiece. Six first half points for both Isaiah Burke and David Syfax. Five point first half for Morgan State's Martez Cameron. Three points for Tyler Streeter. For the Spartans, in double digits, Mastati Pitt. Five for five from the field. Two of two from the three-point land. One of three from the free throw line. Ten points for Jordan Butler as Morgan State 
is in the uh, locker room having forced eight first half turnovers by the Spartans. Morgan has turned over the rock five times. Rebounding edge goes to Norfolk State. 20 rebounds to Morgan's 14. As a Dub mentioned, both teams shooting well from uh, beyond the arc. Spartans 6 of 11, Morgan 5 of 13. The Bears 8 of 12 from the free throw line. Spartans 5 of 11 from the stripe. There you have it. A look at the math in the first half as we have reached intermission. We go to the locker room, and as we go to break, your score. Norfolk State Spartans 45. Morgan State University Bears 41. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State University Basketball. Today we honor Devin as he graduates from his two-year team impact in Morgan State Athletics Experience. Please join me with a resounding set Morgan State University round of applause as we thank Devin and his family with their friendship. Yep, ready to go. Uh, yeah, just the uh, just the seven thirty game. All right. All right, that works. Welcome back, LG. That's me, Lamont Germany, along with Coach Jimmy Fly and Austin Warren. Morgan State University hoop is happening on your Saturday. It's Bears against the Spartans of Norfolk State. Norfolk State, number one team in the BAC. 11 and 1. They are at the top of the regular season pack. Could clinch the regular season title. The Spartans of Norfolk State, if they get a win today. And if they also get a loss from the Aggies of North Carolina AT. Morgan State just trying to climb the ladder. As the Bears begin to play today. Uh, kind of looking to see if they can make a way to find a way, some kind of way. Ninth. In the Mia is Morgan as they go into play today. So Morgan's going to need some help to get a little. He's obviously not going to be at the top of the conference standings when all is said and done. But trying to carve out a little something before the season ends. Five more games, including tonight's games, uh, left on the regular season slate for Morgan State. Hoping to see if they can climb the ladder, try to improve what now is a three and eight conference record. Trying to see if they can uh, maybe run the string, go five for their last five, and be eight and eight at the end of the regular season. We shall see what we shall see. One step at a time, the first step, the second half against Norfolk State. Let's take a peek at what's happening elsewhere around the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference on this Saturday. Morgan's going to play Howard on Monday right here on the campus of Morgan State. And Howard is over there on the west side taking on Coppin today. Howard Bison have a 31 to 30 lead over the Coppin State Eagles. That game is in the first half, three minutes remaining in the first half. Again, a close one between Howard and Coppin. The Bison up 31 to 30. Elsewhere in the MEAC, Delaware State on the home front. The Hornets at home to host the boys from the shore. 
UMES. That's a battle for last place in the MEAC. Want to stay out of the basement as UMES has a 32 to 30 lead over Delaware State. 16 minutes, 34 seconds remaining in that ball game. Also in the MEAC, they're at the half, South Carolina State, a 35 to 30 lead over North Carolina A&T. And again, that game will have ramifications on the final standings in the MEAC. The regular season title could be clinched by Norfolk State if they get the win today and A&T loses. And right now, Norfolk State is winning, A&T is losing. So Norfolk State conceivably could capture the regular season crown today. Elsewhere, Savannah State on the road, taking on the Eagles of North Carolina Central. And right now, Savannah State has 27-24 lead over the Eagles that game at the half. And rounding out your scores in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, Bethune-Cookman, Wildcats on the road in Florida, taking on the Rattlers. And Bethune-Cookman has a 26-22 lead with 3.58 remaining that game in the first half. Here at Hill Fieldhouse on the Morgan State University campus, it's the Morgan State University Bears down by four to the Norfolk State Spartans by a count of 45 to 41. Morgan looking to end what is a four game losing streak. Morgan has lost five of his last six. Got to find a way to get back in the win column as it's a Morgan State University squad that is just finding it difficult to get the W's lately. Losers of four in a row. But have a chance as we're in this one, Coach Jimmy Fly, down by four at 45-41. They're right where they want to be when you're playing a top team uh, in the conference. Two possessions, just think can go anyway. I think they're going to have to have a hot shooting hand in the second half, especially from the three because they can't allow Norfolk State to get a 10-0 run on them, stretch this game out. They got to keep it close and then find a way to make a way, as you like to say, and steal it at the end. That is what I say. Isn't you I'm, do. That's, I'm, I'm that's, finding something else to say. I'm getting your uh, whatever they call them. I don't know what I call it. Your isms. Okay. All right. I'm getting them. Morgan State down 45-41 as we are at intermission. We're going to step aside, take a timeout. When we get back, we'll set up the second half inbound for you at intermission. At the break, your score, North State Sparks 45. Morgan State University Bears 41. We're back after this. You're listening to Morgan State University Basketball. Back at you on the Saturday in the city, LG. That's me. I got the coach to be fly. I got Austin Ward. We got a little basketball for you right here in Baltimore. Morgan State style, orange and blue, taking on the green and the gold of Norfolk State at intermission. It's a 45 41 separation for the Spartans of Norfolk State. 
as uh, getting it done on the uh, offensive end is Norfolk State. Shooting well from the field, Norfolk State 17 of 29. They are 58% from the field. Morgan not shooting bad, 14 of 32 or 43 from the field. Both teams getting some damage done from deep as Morgan has five triples in the first half. The Spartans have six three balls in the opening half of play. Rebounding edge belongs to the Spartans. 20 boards to 14 for Morgan. Slight edge on the offensive window for Norfolk State as they have a nine to edge, nine to eight edge on the offensive window to the Spartans of uh, Morgan State. And the turnovers, Norfolk State has turned over to Rock eight times, five turnovers for Morgan State University. Norfolk State has led for 69.3% of this game. Morgan has led for 18.9% uh, of this game. Last lead for Morgan State came at 6.09 of the first half. Norfolk State with the lead right now as the Spartans sitting in the driver's seat with a 45 to 41 four point cushion over Morgan State. The Bears looking to turn around with been a trend, A-Dub, losing close ball games. Uh, let's see if the Bears can maybe turn it around and win a game, even if it has to be close today against Norfolk State. Yeah, so with that, I'm going to be checking out the first three, four minutes of this second half to see how they come out with their energy, if they can sustain that from the uh, opening half. Yeah, yeah I, I would think Norfolk State, LG, is going to, if they start with Butler and Long together, they're going to try to pound it inside early uh, to try to stretch out this lead. That's Coach Jimmy Fly, LG, that's me. It's Austin Ward on a MEAC Saturday. On Monday, back here at home, the Bison of Howard University will be coming across town. Today, the Bison are over there on the west side taking on Coppin. And at last peak, that was a very close ball game between Howard and Coppin. 31-30. Yeah, 37-34. They're at wow. the break right now. Wow. Howard up three over Coppin. And again, Howard will be over here on Monday night to take on the Bears as Morgan back-to-back -back here at home today against Norfolk State. And on Monday night, the Bears here at home to take on the Howard University Bison. Morgan State squad is trying to end that four-game losing streak. Got to pump the brakes on that losing streak if you're Morgan. And they're hoping to pump those brakes and pump them hard as they uh, look to turn around the Norfolk State Spartans who do have the opportunity to cleanse the MEAC regular season championship if they win today and a t loses and a t is losing at home to South Carolina State 35 to 30 that game in the second half with 18 minutes left so the Spartans of Norfolk State with an opportunity to claim that top seed in the MEAC tournament today but Morgan obviously looking to turn them around five on the floor to begin the second half for Morgan Stanley Davis David Sifax Martez Cameron Antonio Gillespie and Sherwin Devonis Prince. That was the original starting five for Morgan. For Norfolk State, the five on the floor to begin the ball game. It'll be Derek Jamerson, Jordan Butler, Mastati Pitt, Alex Long, Nick Thomas. Alex Long, the lone guy, didn't get the start at the beginning of the ball game. Morgan will have the first touch of the second half. It'll be Bear basketball as we are set to get underway. Second half of play. Morgan State, North State. The Bears have the basketball as Morgan has the first touch of the second half. In the half court, Martez Camp. Senior point guard from Chicago controls on the wing. Up top, Devin is French on the bounce left hand. He'll kick it to Tone Gillespie. Up top, Martez to the cup. Floater right of the lane. Right around, won't go. Off the rebound, and whistle. Gonna get a hat. Works. Just 17 seconds well, in. Debate, this against Morgan. Going to get Stanley Davis. His third. third team's foul, first. first team so Stanley Davis all of a sudden in foul difficulty Kaiser, early Rolls. in the second half. Yeah, Jeff, check out of the game it. with those three personals. Kyson Rawls on the floor for Morgan. That's a big foul because he got off to a hot start early in that first half. In the half court, Spartans with their first touch of the second half. Up top, Alex Long. 
on the bounce right hand. Long leans in left hand, lays it up, won't go. Rebound corralled by Kyson Rawls. Back in the way of the base. For the walk up, Devin is Sprint stops, pops. His runner won't drop, rise rim, won't go. Rebound corralled by Mastani Pitt. Here come the Spartans in the half court. Pitt goes to work on the bounce right hand. Takes it right of the lane. Throws up the floater. It goes down from Mastani Pitt. Extends the lead to 47 41. Equally dangerous if you cut off the three, dribble penetration. Tough finishing with the lane. 15 points in a ball game for Pitt. But you can't help off a of Butler and Long. You got to have on the ball uh, defense. On the other end, Bears go to work. Kyson Rawls goes right wing. Martez Cameron timeout. Morgan State. Here comes Todd Bozeman. Got his point card to call the timeout. <laughs> Coach Bose wants to talk it over Absolutely. early in the first half. Not satisfied with what he's seeing early on in this one, A-Dub. Morgan down 47-41. Yeah, two possessions, two blanks. And Norfolk State quietly back up by six again. Two more scores, and it could be double digits. Yeah, you, this game could get out of hand for Morgan State quickly. That's why I think Coach Bozeman got that timeout. And now with Stanley Davis off the floor, you're really small. Because Long's at 6'8", and he's probably more like a seven-footer with his wingspan. And Butler is just a load down on the block. Right. So Syfax matches up with Butler. Now you got a 6'2 guard trying to handle the 6'8 Long. Norfolk State will have an advantage as long as Morgan only plays with one big. That's Coach Jimmy Fly. My name is LG. We got a little hoop happening. Here on the campus of Morgan State University. Bears taking on the Spartans of Norfolk State. But Morgan, a matter of respect, they have to run the table to even finish at 500 in the MEAC. They are 3 and 8 in conference. They have to win their last five games to even be 8 and 8 in MEAC play. Last year they were 7 and 9 in the regular season, despite being picked to win the regular season last year. Finished below 500 at 7 and 9. Right now they're well below 500 at 3 and 8. And would have to win all five remaining games to even be eight and eight come tournament time in Norfolk, Virginia. Off timeout. Let's get back to the hardwood. Norfolk State, Morgan State. It'll be Bear basketball. Morgan will inbound in the half court. Kyson Rawls, the sophomore from Delaware, will trigger in the entry. Off the entry, Rawls gets it back up top for Taz Cameron. Around the perimeter for all. Steps inside the arc. Spot shot for the jumper. Won't go, but a whistle. Gonna get a hack. Gonna get Derek Jamerson. He picks up another personal for Jamerson. That's his third. Again, the best three point shooter in the country. Just hasn't had a chance to get off today. Gonna be on the arc. Does have a, uh, a three, a couple of threes, but has been sitting down with, with foul difficulty. But he's 52% from beyond the arc. That's the best in the country. But he hasn't had a lot of opportunities today. Kyson Rawls at the free throw line. Takes, but can't make the free throw. Kyson Rawls will have one more. Got to make these freebies, LG, because you're going to struggle with this big lineup to get offensive boards. And Kyson Rawls pretty reliable from the free throw line. That's his first miss from the stripe today. On the season, he's an 83% shooter. Got another confirmation, LG. Yeah, got to <laughs> confirm that confirmation, man. It was not confirmed. So we got a little timeout. There's a pause in the cause. I think they want to see if he was shooting a three, which I don't think he was. No, he, because he, he pump faked and took a dribble in. This is almost getting like the U.S. Senate. They can't make up the mind what they want to do. Yeah, they can't. They may have the confab over there. And want to see if Kyson Rawls may have been shooting a three. He did have an opportunity to shoot three, three free throws in the first half, but this time I think I think he had a foot inside the arc. But they'll look to confirm it with 18:42 remaining in the ball game. Morgan down 47-41, and off the confirmation, Kyson Rawls will have at least one, or maybe two, free throws as the Bears are looking to chip away at a six-point deficit to the Spartans of Norfolk State. Well, this Norfolk State team, LG, they're balanced because they can play power basketball if they want to, but they've got shooters surrounding them, good shooters. That's why they're 11-1. I was looking at statistically, 
they're either first or second in basically every major category across the board in the MEAC. They're going to definitely be the favorite in two weeks. The question, can they carry that mantle and the pressure that goes with it? Haven't been able to do that in past years. And so as a result, the Spartans of Norfolk State will be looking for their first MEAC title in Norfolk. Won the MEAC about six years ago when the tournament was in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, but now looking to see if they can get it done at home in Norfolk. Uh, let's see, Kyson Rawls at the free throw line. He'll take and make the second free throw, and indeed he was shooting a two, so he'll make one of two. That's 10 points in the ball game for Kyson Rawls. Cuts the gap 47-42. Norfolk State over Morgan State with 18-33 remaining in the ball game. In the half court, Spartans go to work. On the wing left side, Steve Whitley. Entry pass, Alex Long. In the lane, his floater, back rim, no good. Rebound, David side backs. Outlet, Kyson Rawls with a walk up, Martez Cameron. Taz operates in the half court, feeds the wing. That's Rawls. Kyson up top, David side backs on the wing left side, and Tony Gillespie. Baseline, Kyson Rawls, bounce pass left of the lane, side backs to kick to Rawls, steps inside the arc, loses the handle, ball out of bounds. That's a turnover. It'll be Spartan possession. They will inbound up five at 47. And you want at least to get a shot off. Yeah, the first time in this game, Morgan State going with two bigs, Little and Syfax to match up with Butler and Long. In the half court, Spartans control. Baseline three ball. Mastati Pitt. Back rim off target, no good. Weak side rebound, David Syfax. Outlet Martez Cameron. Here come the Bears, right to left. Tez, top of the key. Feeds the trailing Syfax. Left wing Gillespie. Bounce pass down low, that's Jordan Little. His hook in the bank, back round, won't fall. Rebound, corralled by Steve Whitley. Here comes the Spartans. Whitley throws it away off of the outstretched arms of Jordan Butler. Just a bad pass by Whitley yeah. at that time. They turned it over, it'll be Bear Bass. Didn't need that for Norfolk, but he'll take it from Morgan. Meanwhile, here comes the freshman, Devin is Prince, on the floor. He'll run the point, Sharon replaces Prince, Morgan State's Martez Cameron in the backcourt for the orange and the blue. And they're really attacking Rawls on that three-point line. Last couple possessions when the ball is swung to him, LG, they're closing him hard on his right hand, making him put it on the ground and uh, shoot a tough two. Isaiah Burke checks into the game for Morgan. The freshman will Isaiah replace Burke. the senior, Antonio Gillespie, in that Morgan State lineup. Well, now you've got, this is the future backcourt right here with Burke, Devonish Prince, Rawls, two three-point shooters on either wing. In the half court, Bears go to work. Baseline, Devin is Prince. He'll feed in the paint. Syfax lays it up and in. Gets the bucket, draws the foul. Syfax on his way to the strike. Looks to complete the three-point play. I like how that started, Coach, with the dribble penetration. Well, if you watch Devin is Prince over the course of this year, does a lot of great things, but he likes to play from the baseline. Point guards normally like to be out in the top pick and roll, high pick and roll, facing. But he likes getting amongst the trees and he effectively uses the dribble on that possession. Syfax takes and makes the free throw, completes a three point play. Morgan down to deuce, 47-45. That's the Norfolk State lead. We got 17-15 remaining in the party. The other in Spartans. Up top, Whitley on the bounce right hand. He'll leave it on the wing. Right wing for Nick Thomas, back to Whitley. Goes baseline with the pass from Astati Pitt. Back up top, Whitley. He'll feed long in the lane. A whistle, uh, tra no, no travel. Guess we'll have a foul. Yeah, this one's going to stop the clock work against Morgan State. 17-03 remaining in the ball game. Looks like going to get Kyson Rawls for the personal, his first, team second. Non-shooting foul. It'll be Spartan basketball. 20 to shoot, 17-03 remaining in the ball game. Pitt off the entry, long, up top, Whitley. Whitley on the dribble with the right hand. He'll feed Nick Thomas, baseline left. Thomas takes the baseline jumper off, off the glass, no good. Rebound Morgan. That's David Syfax. He collects the camera. Bears back the other way. Catch and shoot three. Kyson rolls. Side of the rim, no good. Rebound collected by the Spartans. Here comes Nick Thomas. Spartans nursing the two-point lead. They have possession. 
down low. Alex Long in the paint to kick the butler from the free throw line. He'll feed down low. Alex Long, his layup, 10 footer, back rim, no good. Rebound corral by Morgan's Jordan Little. Big back the other way come the big. A lot of combination Little and Syfax giving resistance now. Yes. The long down in the low block. And the half court beers go to work. On the wing left side, Devinis Prince. Away from the rock, a whistle. Going to get a hack. Stops the clock at the 16 18 mark. This one will work against Alex, Alex Long, Long of the Spartans. Long picks Long. up his second, team's third. Want to see a shot fall for Jordan Little. I've liked his game since he arrived on campus. But the physicality of his ball game, plus he has a nice touch. He likes to go to that little jump right hand hook when he gets it on a block. Off the entry, Devitus Prince controls. That's the freshman from Bladensburg, Maryland. Feeds wing, right wing Burke. Entry pass, Jordan Little couldn't handle the pass. Goes through his arms and out of bounds. Little's trying to argue that he was fouled, but the ball goes out of bounds. That's a Morgan turnover. It'll be Spartan possession. And I think that's why he loses some minutes. He's got to get better hands and grasp that basketball. With the walk up, Steve Whitley operates in the half court. Leads it on the wing, Mastati Pitt up top. Whitley on the bounce right hand. He'll go back to Pitt. 15 to shoot. Whitley controls. Entry pass, free throw line to Butler on the high post. Low post, long. Alex Long is going to be called for a travel no gonna get a foul on jordan little as uh jordan little picks up the personal i thought he had his hand straight up and down yep but that'll be his third team's third he, he did out to right at the end he kind of leaned got off balance but i thought it was good defense that's why i think they got to match up big on big especially when Butler and Long are playing together. We're going to get a timeout. It comes to 15-52 remaining in the ballgame as we step aside your score. Norfolk State 47, Morgan State 45. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State University Basketball. At your Hill Field House, South Campus, Morgan State University, Lamont, Germany, Austin Ward, Coach Jimmy Flower, with courtside, we're worldwide. We got 1546 remaining in the contest. Morgan, Norfolk, up a deuce are the Spartans off the timeout. They turned it over. Stolen by Morgan's Isaiah Burke. Down a deuce, but the Bears have the rock in the half court. Up top, David Syfax. Around the perimeter it goes. Ends up in the arms of Devin his Prince to the cup. Lays it up, right hand. It's blocked by Jordan Butler. Back in the way comes Spartans. On the move, Steve Whitley. Whitley down the lane, goes baseline for Pitt. Mastotti for three. He sticks it. Mastotti Pitt with his third triple of the ball game. He has 18 points on the night. Spartans up five at 50 to 45. Big series of events, five point swing. Three ball, Devin is Prince, corner pocket, too strong. Side of the rim, no good. Rebound weak side, Steve Whitley. Here comes the Spartans left to right. On the wing, three, Nick Thomas, air ball. Rebound weak side. Mastati Pitt, but the ball lost out of bounds. Last touch by Morgan. It'll be Spartan possession. A little out. They didn't come back with Curry. They're going back with the one big. Norfolk State taking advantage in transition. Looks like Martez Cameron sets a check in at the scores table. A couple of seniors going to be back on the floor for Morgan. Martez Cameron, the senior from Chicago, and Antonio Gillespie, the senior from Memphis. Both back on the floor for Morgan State. Replacing Kaisen Rawls. And Devin is Prince. Now they got McCray Pace playing the power forward spot alongside Syfax. Off the entry, Jordan Butler up top, Mustadi Prince. He'll go left wing for Nick Thomas. Nick in the lane, lays it up, right hand, it goes for Nick Thomas. Thomas. He's in double figures. He has a 10 point ball game going on. Spartans up 7, 52 45. 
Other end, Morgan. Up top, LaCrae, McCree, LaCrae, McCray pace. Has the top of the key, feeds the wing. That's Morgan State, Martez Cameron, bounce pass, baseline right. That's Antonio Gillespie. He'll feed the baseline, McCray pace. Gonna get a whistle. Stoppage with 14.30 remaining. Got a push backside. Long Alex Spartans Long picks up the personal. Long. That's the third for the Spartans. Long. Alex Long, senior Long. from Clinton, Long. Maryland. Long. Gonna have to come out of the ball game. He's replaced by C.J. Kelly in that Spartan lineup. Meanwhile, Martaz Cameron will be triggering in the entry for Morgan with 20 on the shot clock. Off the entry, Tone Gillespie. On the wing right side, he'll go up top. Isaiah Burke. Burke on the bounce left hand, feeds the wing. Tez Cameron, entry pass, McCray pace. On the low block, spins, jump hook, gets it to go. LeBrain. Giving up three inches LeBrain. to Jordan Butler, but had to jump hook, go over Butler and in as McCray pace has his first deuce of the day. Morgan State with a small lineup, LG going 2 3 zone. In the half court, Whitley feeds, pick. Mastati on the wing right side. On the bounce, right hand spots up for three. Back rim off target, no good. Rebound tracked down by the Spartans. Nick Thomas steps inside the arc. Kick ball on Morgan. It'll be Spartan basketball with 13.49 remaining in the ball game. Spartans will inbound in the half court, nursing a 52 47 lead over Morgan State. Jordan Butler, no, actually, it's going to be going to be Armani Brantz to trigger in the entry. For the Spartans, off the entry, Butler on a bounce left hand. Leaves it on the wing, Mastati Pitt. Pitt on the bounce left hand. Pitt steps inside the arc. He'll go up top, Branch, three on the way. Rills out, won't go. Rebound corralled by Morgan's David. Side backs back to the wake of the Bears. In the half court, Morgan operates. That's Martez Cameron. Tez right of the line. Martez will back off. Up top, side backs, left wing, Burke. The freshman, Isaiah, on the wing left side. Goes baseline for Tez. Back to Burke around the perimeter. McCray pace right wing. Gillespie toned for three. He was shooting a three. Hacked in the act. Three ball does not fall, but they're going to get Mastati Pitt. 20 seconds. Fourth team foul will put Antonio Gillespie at the strike. Shooting three. No, you never foul a shooter more than shooting a state university. But that's stretching the floor. Gillespie, like Rawls in the first half, three steps beyond. You got to go out and cover that. And then he picks up the foul. Antonio Gillespie in an unfamiliar place at the free throw line. He's only shot one free throw all year long. Make it two free throws now all year long. And it's missed, missed them both. Uh, so he's 0 for 2 from the strike for the season. But he'll have two more as he was shooting a three. Takes it. Makes the second again. Antonio, perimeter three-point shooter. Those kind of guys typically don't get a lot of trips to the free throw line. Uh, so Antonio coming into the game with only one free throw on the season. Makes the second. Here comes the third. Slight knee bend. He'll take and miss. Two of three. Does Tone Gillespie rebound Armani Brands. Ball poked away by Isaiah Burke. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Burke. So Bears only get one point as Antonio Gillespie, one of three from the free throw line. Cuts the gap to 52-48. Spartans by four. Norfolk State operates in the half court. Up top, Joe Bryant. Bryant on the bounce with the right hand. Sophomore operates between the circles. He'll give it up, Nick Thomas. On the wing left side, Steve Whitley. Whitley feeds Brands, throws it away. Stolen by David Sipax. Here come the Bears, right to left. Morgan on the move. Isaiah Burke feeds the trailing. Tez Cameron up top, Sipax. Back to Tez. 12.52 left in the party. Morgan, Norfolk State. Four point separation. Spartans up four. Up top, LaPree McCray pace on the bounce right hand lays it up right right hand it goes off window and in for McCray pace cuts the gap to a deuce Spartans up 52 50. Yeah, McCray pace looks he said I got a 6 2 guy on me he says 6 8 I'm taking him I can do this Joe Bryant controls for the Spartans Bryant has the ball poked away wow we get a whistle of travel travel on Joe Bryant he'll turn over the rock it'll be Morgan State possession I think Coach Bozeman thought they were calling a foul. I on did that. too. One but official was going a foul. The <laughs> far official, near official, called the travel, and the travel won the day. So to be Bear basketball. In the half court, Martez Cameron, the Morgan senior, operates between the circles. On the bounce with the right hand, feeds the wing. Isaiah Burke. Burke goes baseline for Tez. 
Tez back to Burke. Burke steps inside the arc, spots up, 10-footer. It goes, bucket, and the bruise for Burke. Isaiah on his way to the free throw line. He'll look to complete the three-point play. Had a chance to put Morgan State in front uh, for the first time in quite a while. Since the 6.07 mark of the first half, that's the last lead for Morgan. We're tied at 52 and 52. LG, you see his presence just in his first game back, the ability to score, being a threat on that perimeter. That gives him another dimension that they've been missing. He'll take and make the free throw. Isaiah Burke completes the three-point play. Morgan up one, 53-52. Morgan on an eight-nothing run. We have 12 minutes remaining in the ball game. Other in Sparks on the wing, right side. Armani Brands, his jump hook, his in the lane is good. Brands gets induced to go down. Spartans reclaim the lead at 54 53. Well, Brands is the guy on the floor for the Spartans. It's got the mismatch on the other end. Sidefax lays it up, won't go over the whistle. A hack beneath the rack. I believe they're going to get the Butler. Jordan Butler picks up the person. That'll be the second on Jordan Butler. We're going to get a timeout. Let's step aside. Timeout comes with 11.45 remaining in the ball game. As we step aside, your score. Norfolk State Sparks 54, Florida State Bears 53. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State University Basketball. Needs to make 10 free throws for the game budget in order to win a prize pack and $50 in Maryland Lottery respect off. Contestants, are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. That's a one. Two, three, four, five, three there, six, seven, eight, nine. The Powerball jackpot for tonight drawing is three hundred and four million dollars. Please play responsibly. David Sidefax has the line with the mayor shooting. Red to go. Scoreboard says we got 11.45 remaining in this one. LG, that's me, got the coach, Jimmy Fly. Got Austin Ward, I got David Syfax at the free throw line. Made the first. We're tied at 54 and 54. David could make the second. We're still tied. Rebound Spartans almost threw it away. Almost got a steal for Morgan, but here comes Norfolk State. Look at the break. A 54-54 tie. We have 11-36 remaining in the ballgame. In the half court, Steve Whitley on the bounce with the right hand. He'll go high post. Armani Branch. Branch has the ball poked away. Stolen by LaPree McCray Pace. Back to the wake of the Bears. With a walk up, Martez Cameron looking to break the 54-54 tie. Isaiah Burke to the cup. His shot blocked by Joe Bryant. Rebound. Steve Whitley. Here come the Spartans. They look to break the tie. Bryant down the lane. Ball poked away. Bryant retrieves, feeds the wing. Branch for three. Back rim, no good. David side backs, climbs high to collect to Karen. Had to use all of that 6 7 to get that rebound on the other end, Morgan. In the half court, Bears go to work. On the bounce, little left hand. That's Martez Cameron. Tez operates between the circles. 15 to shoot. 10.50 remaining in the party. We're tied at 54. Tez right of the lane, picks it up, feeds Burke. Isaiah steps inside the arc. Now he goes beyond the arc. Five to shoot. Isaiah Burke attacks to the rack. His shot blocked by Armani Branch. He gets it back, loses it out of bounds. That'll be a turnover. That'll be a shot clock violation. That'll be Spartan basketball. Well, he's forced those last two plays. Get, he's getting too deep. He's got to pull up in that six to eight foot range and shoot one of those floaters and kiss it off the glass. 
Freshman going to come out of the ball game as Antonio Gillespie back on the floor for the Bears. Spartans will inbound. Bears pick up full court defensively off the entry. Derek Jamerson. He'll get it back to Whitley with the walk up. Whitley gets it across timeline. Steve operates in the half court. He's on the bounce with the right hand. Around the perimeter, has it on the wing left side. Whitley gets a screen from Alex Long off the screen. A rolled along. He spots Butler at the free throw line. Takes an open 15 footer. Knocks down the deuce, Jordan Butler. A dirty dozen on the day for Butler. Up a deuce, the Spartans at 56 54. They got Long and Butler that combo deal back in the game. On the other end, Morgan goes to work. Tyson Rawls on a bounce right hand. Around the perimeter for Antonio Gillespie. Along the baseline, Tyson Rawls. Up top for David Sifax. Along the baseline, Tone. He'll feed Tez. Tez in the lane. He'll throw it up, but an offensive foul on Martez Cameron. Player control personal is first. Team's fourth. He had Tyson Rawls wide open on that right wing. He took that dribble, boom, kick it. Rawls would have had a clean look. But the Bears turn it over. The Bears are down a deuce. It's a 56-54 Norfolk State lead over Morgan State with 9.45 remaining in regulation. And this is a critical juncture as we see how Norfolk's going to respond back and forth affair. Well, I'd imagine that when they get the ball into their half of the floor, they're going to go high, low action with Butler and uh, Long because of the great pace is matched up with Long. It'll be Spartan possession again. The Bears are going to pick up full court defensively as Steve Whitley controls. Whitley working against Martez Cameron. He'll get it across timeline. In the half court, Spartans go to work. Whitley on the bounce left hand. He'll feed a cutting Butler. Two and flush by Jordan. Butler goes down. He's working on the 14 point night. Spartans up four, 58 54. Stan Davis immediately up off the bench after that. On the other end, Morgan goes to work. Ball out of bounds. Another wow. Morgan turnover. Bears give up the rock. It'll be Spartan Back possession. Meanwhile, Stanley Davis, Devinus Prince. That, that wasn't even close, LG. Even if uh, Martez Cameron had been in the corner, Germany, the ball was Devin thrown out of bounds. Yeah, just an ugly possession by Morgan. They pay the price. Spartans have the rock. Off the inbound, Steve Whitley looks to walk it up. Whitley picked up by Devinus Prince. Steve Whitley, the junior from Norfolk, gets it across timeline. In the half court, Alex Long on the bounce with the left hand. Long top of the key. He'll go up top, Whitley. Whitley ball above head. Entry pass down low. Thrown down by Alex Long. Two hand flush. Extends the Spartan lead to a half dozen at 60 to 54. That was a set play, pulling Butler out of the post, and then setting the back screen for long. Three ball, Devinus Prince. No, actually, a two ball by Devinus Prince. Knocks it down. Morgan State climbs within 60 to 56. And they needed that basket in the worst way imaginable. On the other end, Steve Whitley controls for the Spartans. Whitley with a slight push off right hand, not called, but they are going to call a foul on Martez Cameron. The Morgan State senior picks up a second. The Bears, the team's fifth. And Whitley, he's he's a tough he's cover. He foul, reminds me his, his build five. is like Dante Pretlow, only he's a little taller. Big broad shoulders, hard to uh, take the ball off of him. 6'3", 200, matched up against Morgan's Martez Cameron, 5'11", 180. On the wing, left side, that's Jordan Butler on the bounce with the right hand. Bounce pass, baseline to Nick Thomas. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Morgan. It'll be Spartan possession. And they were looking to go back door again. Yeah, uh, Whitley got away with a pass that was a little dangerous. Tried to thread the needle. I think he's lucky he didn't turn it over. Spartans will inbound only eight on the shot clock. Steve Whitley to inbound. Off the entry. Butler beneath the bucket. Misses the bunny. Rebound Bears. Two on three. De Devin is Prince. Spots up for the jumper. Rims out. No good. Couldn't get the spot up to go down. Here comes Spartans. They're up four to have the rock. Nick Thomas on the bounce left hand. He'll go up top, Steve Whitley. Parks out signals from the point with 758 remaining in the party. Sparks with the rock. Sparks with the 60 to 56 lead over Morgan State. Whitley between the circles. On the wing right side. Whitley goes baseline, leans in, lays it up and in. Gets the bucket, draws the foul. Whitley on his way to the strike. Looks to complete. 
the three-point play. And the Spartans are just finding out the mismatch is Martez Cameron not big enough to handle with the on the dribble penetration because he's just too strong when he puts that shoulder into his chest and he can knock him off balance and get his shot off. We're going to get a timeout, fellas. It comes 746 remaining in this part. As we step aside, your score. Norfolk State Spartan 62. Morgan State here is 56. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State University basketball. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by the performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a single game. They're playing to win at life. Because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. Red to go. Back at you on a Saturday in the city. LG, that's me, got coach Jimmy Flag, got Steve Whitman. Looking to complete the three point play. Takes, but can't make the free throw. Back rim, no good. Rebound Bears. Morgan comes back the other way, work to do. Down 62 56. 738 remaining in regulation. In the half court, Kyson Rawls. He'll feed Stanley Davis. We get a whistle. Going to get a hack. Going to get Butler. Going to get Jordan Butler for his third. Team's fifth. As Morgan State trying to see if they can chip away and make a way down about six at 62 56. Stanley Davis earns a trip to the free throw line for the big. Well, it's going to start with knocking down both of these free throws. But they need him on the floor this last seven minutes. Absolutely. Um, Obviously got off to a good start, but they need his offense and he can create some things against these bigger guys that are slower than him. He can take them off the dribble and find his shot. Stat sheet says he makes 79 percent of his free throws on the season took and made the first takes and makes the second two for two from the stripe 10 point ball game for Stanley Davis his first points of the second half cuts the gap to four Spartans up 62 58. We have 726 remaining in the ball game. Up top, Jordan Butler hands off to Nick Thomas. Nick picks it up, feeds the paint, throws it away. Ball loose on the floor. Bodies collide. Finally, Butler cleans it up with a two-hand flush. Another 50-50 opportunity won by the Spartans. They lead 64-58. On the other end, Morgan. Devin is Prince has the ball stripped and stolen. Ball is out of bounds off of Devin is Prince as Morgan State turns over the rock. Spartans get it back. They have a six-point lead. They have the basketball. Burke got too deep on a couple possessions. Devin is Prince got too deep. Nowhere to go with the basketball. Both freshmen, they got to learn, go through the learning curve on that. Jordan Butler will trigger in the entry for the Spartans. Off the entry, Steve Whitley. Whitley walks it up, picked up by Morgan State's Devin is Prince. Steve Whitley has it in the half court. Goes up top, Alex Long. He'll feed the wing, left wing, a whistle. Gonna get a foul. Gonna get Isaiah Burke for the personal. The Morgan freshman picks up his second. Teams seven. Spartans will be in the bonus for the balance of the ball game. At the free throw line, shooting one plus one. Nick Thomas for Norfolk State. Nick shoots 80%. On the season, Red Sir Jr. 21. from Arlington, Texas, had 20 points when the Bears and Spartans met last year at Norfolk State, their only regular season meeting. Nick Thomas, not as proficient offensively today, although he does make that free throw to increase the lead to 65 58. 
647 remaining in the ballgame. And LG Butler sitting down now. The Spartans only have a 6-8 long in the game, one big. Maybe Morgan State can find some openings on the other end. Nick Thomas, two for two from the free throw line. Spartans have seven point lead with 645 remaining in the park. Other in Morgan. In the half court, Isaiah Burke. Up top, Stanley Davis. He'll deliver the wing, left wing, Devin is Prince on the bounce right hand. Up top, Davis, top of the key. Inside the arc, he'll go right wing for Kyson Rawls. Rawls up top, Devin is Prince. Back to Rawls, open for three. Kyson connects. Three ball. Kyson Rawls. For Kyson Rawls. His third tray of the day cuts the gap to 6 6 61. On the other end, Spartans they had the five point lead. They have the basketball. Up top, Steve Whitley operates between the circles. 15 to shoot. Goes high post, Alex Long. Long on the bounce, right hand. Alex top of the circle, hands off to Jackson. Pulls the trigger on the three, won't go. Rattles out, doesn't fall. But Derek Jamerson. Jamerson again leads the country in three point shooting percentage at 52. Has not had the chance to really get off too many three point shots today. But he was hacked. So he'll be at three throw line. He'll be shooting three. And Jamerson again leading the country in three point shooting. And this legitimate because he takes a lot of threes on the season. As a matter of fact, Jamerson has taken. 143 threes and when you take 143 of them that's heavy volume and when you make 52 percent of them that's heavy duty getting it done that's a hey yeah that's leading the country and three-point shooting percentage the one thing out he's six five so he can get a shot over smaller guards exactly uh hasn't had three-point shoot shooting going for him today but was able to make a couple of free throws as he shot two or three from the strike on the other end off of a missed three ball, we're going to get a whistle, we're going to foul on Spartans. Going to get Alex Long, his fourth. I tell you, Syfax is like an unsung hero to me because he's playing it with a lot of these small ball lineups. He's only big on there, and he is dominating the glass, and this time getting on the offensive boards. Team fouls for the Spartans, nine. That's knife team foul. Norfolk State will put David Syfax at the free throw line. The Morgan David State Syfax University the junior from Detroit, 66% from the one strike on the season. Morgan needs these. This is down seven at 68-61. David will take and make the front end of the one and one. And I look up LG and I see the Butler back into the game again. Oh, he's not going to sit long. <laughs> They got long sitting. He ain't gonna be sitting long either. <laughs> Ten point ball game for David Syfax. He has one more free throw coming his way. Three bounces of the rock, slight knee bend. He'll take and make both free throws. David Syfax, two for two from the free throw line. Morgan cuts the gap to five. Spartans have 68 63 lead. We got 545 remaining in the ball game. In the half court, Steve Whitley on the bounce left hand. Whitley top of the key. He'll feed the wing right wing. The ball poked away. We're going to whistle and a foul. Wow. Going to get Isaiah Burke for the first foul. Morgan Freshman picks up his third. We'll put Whitley at the free throw line. This particular referee, I've seen in other games, he's officiated. He's a quick whistle guy. You got you to have scout reports on officials, too, just like you do with teams and understand how they call games. That's right. That's Haywood Bostic. You're talking about him behind his back. I didn't mean to, sir. <laughs> but I don't think he takes it personal. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tavis misses the front end of the one and one. Other end more. Stop and pop by Devin S. Prince. It goes. Gets the bucket. Drops sure. the foul. Devin S. Prince on his way to the free throw line. Looks to complete the three point play. That, that's his game, LG. He, speed dribble. He can stop on a dime. Uh, in that 12, 15 foot range. That's his sweet spot sure, for going into the off season. He got to develop that three ball because if he does, he's going to be unguardable. Yep. Devonis Prince can further chip away at the Spartan lead as he looks to complete the three point play. He'll take it and make it. Morgan climbs within two, 68 66. That's the Norfolk lead, five and a half remaining in the ball game with the walk up. Mustadi Pitt operates in the half court on the dribble with the left hand. He'll feed the wing, right wing. That's Jordan Butler. Butler almost throws it away. Does throw it away. Stolen by Stanley Davis. Look at the Bears. Davis in the half 
court. Attacks to the rack. Lays it up right hand. Won't go. Rebound Davis. Put back off target. But a hack beneath the rack. Works against the Spartans. We'll put Stanley Davis at the free throw line as Jordan Butler picks up the personal. Davis will be shooting two. Yeah, Gavin is Prince credit on that play on a missed layup. He went amongst the trees, LG, and smacked that ball forward so David could, Davis could recover and get a second chance at it. Actually, Derek Jamerson picked up that, that foul, not Jordan Butler, fourth on Jamerson. Stanley, Stanley Davis, line, Davis will be at the free throw line. Two. He'll be shooting two. Could tie the game if he can make both with 5-11 remaining in the second half. The Morgan Jr. takes aim on the first of two. He'll take and make the first free throw. Now Morgan Smart. State with, with Rawls, Devonis Prince, uh, Davis, and Burke, all excellent free throw shooters, LG. In the double bonus, that's that bodes well for them coming down the stretch. Stanley Davis got one more free throw coming up. He'll take and make both free throws. We're deadlock. We're brand new. We're all tied. Morgan 68. Norfolk State 68. 505 remaining in the party. Other end spark. Steve Whitley up top on a bounce. Left hand. Whitley picked up by Morgan State. Stanley Davis. Whitley sees the shot clock whittle down to 15. Still has possession, top of the key. Jones around the perimeter. We get a whistle on a carry on Steve Whitley. Turns over the rock. It's going to be Bear Basket. And I like how Syfax stayed home, didn't go for that half fake by Whitley. Oh, he's, he's been playing excellent game. Much of what he does won't show up in a box score. In the half court, Isaiah Burke up top, Tyson Rawls. Rawls goes baseline, Devin is Prince. To the cup, leans in, lays it up, won't go. Whistle. Get a hack beneath the hole. Works against the Spartans. Gonna send Devinus Prince to the free throw line as Jordan Butler picks up the personal. Or actually, no, they're gonna go against Deontay Davis. Picks up his second. It will put Devinus Prince at the free throw line. The Morgan freshman will shoot too. Yeah, LG, because they don't play with a back to the basket post up player, their post ups are actually dribble penetration by these guards getting into the lane as he knocks down that free throw to give Morgan State the lead, 69-68. Uh, but that's how they get their post-ups, from guards getting in that restricted area and then able to finish. Ten-point night for Devonis Prince. Looking to increase Morgan's one-point lead, second free throw. Also good. Morgan up a deuce, 70-68. 435 remaining in the ball game. In the half-court, Spartans on the bounce left hand. Steve with We'll go left wing, Mustadi Pitt. Pitt dribbles around the perimeter, has it inside the arc, spots up, 16 footer, front ran, no good. Rebound, Morgan State, Stanley Davis. Here come the arms in the blue. Right to left in the half court. Morgan sets up shop with 4.15 remaining in the ball game. Up two at 70 to 68. Isaiah Burke between the circles. Freshman on the bounce, right hand. Feeds the wing, right wing. Tyson Rawls steps inside the arc. Tyson picks it up. He'll go up top. David Sidebax hands off Isaiah Burke. Burke feeds right wing. Tyson Rawls for three. Side of the rim, no good. Rebound, Devin is Prince. Morgan resets the offense with 353 remaining in regulation. Up two at 70 to 68. That's that 50 50 ball on the Spartan coach, Mealy getting. 6-8 long up off that bench. Devin is Prince between the circles, feeds the wing. Kyson Rawls. Rawls back up top, Davis. Left wing, Devin is Prince, 10 to shoot. On the bounce, right hand. The Morgan State freshman steps inside the yard. He leans in, lays it up by Tam, won't go. Tam, no good. Rebound, Morgan. They get a fresh shot clock for 325. We're remaining in regulation. Up a deuce. Another bite at the apple for the Bears as Morgan goes to work in the half court set. Huge play by David Sifax, yes. keeping it alive. Devin is pressed between the circles. The Morgan freshman goes high post. Stanley Davis, 10 to shoot. Stanley spins. Stanley attacks. Stanley's foul. Going to get Steve Whitley for the personal. We'll put Stanley Davis at the strike, but not before we get a timeout. Let's step aside. Timeout comes with 3.05 remaining in the ball game. As we step aside, your score. Morgan State Bears 70, Norfolk State 68. We're back right after this. You're listening to Morgan State University basketball. Smoothie King, the Bears, has teamed up for a terrific 
If we win, you win, deal. We win for every home win. You'll receive a coupon for two dollars off a medium or large smoothie. Smoothie King, a proud sponsor of Morgan State Athletics. Ready to go. Heading for the home stretch on a Saturday in the city. LG, that's me. Got the coach, Jimmy Fly. Got Austin Ward. We got 305 left in this bad boy coach, Jimmy Fly. Morgan up two over Norfolk State at 70 to 68. When they got the Spartans on their heels, uh, forced them to go back to Long and Butler playing together. Davis, 79% free throw shooter, got a chance to push this to a two possession game. So these free throws coming down the stretch, these are all gonna be must makes for Morgan State. Stanley Davis will be at the free throw line for the orange and the blue. Need these Stanley as the Morgan State Junior takes a deep breath. One spin of the rock, deep knee bend, takes, misses the free throw. He'll have another with 305 remaining in the ball game. Morgan up two at 70 to 68. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't a deep enough knee bend. He, he got, I'm watching him. He got deep knee bend, get up on your toes. Stanley Davis, one more charity toss. Looking to get Morgan a three point lead at the 305 mark of the second half. Davis takes aim, takes, makes the second free throw. One of two from the strike for Stanley Davis. Morgan up three, 71 68. We're opposed three minutes remaining in the party. Here come the Spartans. In the half court, must study Pitt on a bounce left hand. He'll feed the wing, left wing, Nick Thomas. Back to Pitt. Looks entry. He'll keep it on the perimeter. Alex Long on the opposite wing, right wing, Nick Thomas. He feeds Long. Ball poked away, retrieved by Alex Long of Norfolk State. Spartans with 10 to shoot. Feed up top, Mustadi Print. Pitt in the lane. Pitt lays it up, right hand. It rims home for Mustadi Pitt. He's working on a 20 point ball game. Spartans down one. Morgan has the 71 70 lead. Well, Pitt's listed at 220, and he used that muscle to just back down Burke, the freshman, and get that easy layup. With the walk up, here comes Stanley Davis. Morgan goes to work in the half court, up one at 71 70. Isaiah Burke on the wing left side. Hands off to Stanley Davis. Lost the handle, but he retreats. Davis on the bounce left hand. Stanley steps inside the arc. He'll kick it to Burke. Isaiah dribbles off his foot, but retrieved by Devonis Prince of Morgan State. To the cup, lays it up left hand. Back rim, no good. Rebound, Alex Long. Here comes Sparks. They're down one. Looking to reclaim the lead this trip down the floor. For the walk up, Mustadi Pitt. Hesitation, now he accelerates baseline. Lays it up, won't go, but a whistle. Gonna get a hack along the baseline works against Morgan will send Mustadi Pitt to the free throw line. He'll shoot two. Gonna get Isaiah Burke. That's his fourth personal foul. Mustadi Pitt will be shooting two for Norfolk State. Makes them both. Spartans would reclaim the lead. Well, Pitt using that upper body strength again to get the angle on Burke and able to draw the foul. Mustadi will take and make the free throw. 21 Black Jack on the night for Pitt. Got another toss coming his way with two minutes remaining in regulation. We are tied at 71 and 71 Morgan State, Norfolk State. I mean, when you look at Pitt, I mean, uh, Whitley actually looks bigger than Pitt to me, but he's listed at 200 and Pitt at 220. These wow. are big guards that can lay some wood on you, as they like to say. Mastati Pitt, another free throw coming his way. Takes it, misses it. Back rim, no good. Rebound Morgan State. Tyson Rawls control in the half court. Tyson baseline, ball poked away. He retrieves a foul. Gonna get Jamerson. Gonna get Derek Jamerson for his fifth. His day is done with 153 remaining in the ball game. Tyson ball Rawls will be at the free throw line. Looking Derek to break Jameson. a 71-71 tie. Now, he sits down your best three-point shooter, and now you got to go to a smaller. Well, with his nine. He's 6'3", but that right. big body, and also he can play the point guard position for him. Tyson Rawls at the free throw line for Morgan State. Sophomore from Newark, Delaware, takes aim on the first of two. He'll take it, 
and make it. 13 point ball game, make it 14 point ball game for Kyson Rawls. Morgan reclaims the lead at 72 71. Rawls will have one more toss coming his way. Kyson takes, Kyson misses. Back rim, no good. One point lead, Morgan. Spartans with possession. They walk it up off the miss free throw. They operate in the half court. Minute 45 remaining in regulation. Up top, the Stoddy Pitt on the bounce, right hand. Gets the screen from Alex Long around the screen. Goes baseline, kicks it to Long, top of the key. He'll go right wing to Pitt, 10 to shoot. Pitt penetrates inside the free throw line. Offensive foul on the Stoddy Pitt. His third. That's the difference, LG. He had Burke on him the last two possessions. This time, Rawls. Rawls got that upper body strength, too. Right. He wasn't able to push him off. Rawls able to get the call. Morgan going to walk it up with a minute and a half remaining in regulation. Morgan clings to the 72-71 lead over the Spartans of Norfolk State. In the half court, Devin is Prince. Freshman goes right wing, Tyson Rawls. Rawls triples a paint. He'll go baseline, wide open, side back. Takes the triple, won't fall. Weak side rebound, goes out of bounds. It'll be Spartan possession. Was open baseline, couldn't get it to go down. Spartans will come back the other way. Down one with a minute 13 remaining in regulation. In the half court, Mastati Pitt on the bounce right hand. Pitt leaves it on the wing. Steve Whitley. Whitley up top around the perimeter. The handoff to Pitt. Pitt on the wing right side. Away. Ball poked away by David Sotbax. But it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Sotbax. It'll be Spartan possession. And that's the tangibles because he's gotten his hands in the last five minutes on multiple balls for deflections and steals. Steve Whitley the trigger in the entry off the entry. Mastati Pitt between the circles on the dribble. Left hand. Pitt eight to shoot. Gets the screen. Around the screen goes baseline. He'll feel a trailing long. Lays it up. Won't go. Rebound loose on the floor. Off the rebound. Whistle. A hack. Beneath the rack. Works against Stanley Davis. A board uh, say his fourth. Gonna put Spartans at the line. Before Opportunity to reclaim the lead with 45 seconds remaining in regulation. Alex Long will be at the stripe. He shoots 54% on the season. His free throws, if converted, would Alex give the Spartans the lead. Well, you really got to box out. I'd, I'd rather have David Syfax on the same side as Butler. Uh, they got Stanley Davis over there. He's gonna have his hands free. Alex Long takes and makes. His first free throw, he'll Big have another. Throw. We're tied at 72 and 72. Gonna have a timeout before the second free throw. We'll keep it here. Do the timeout with 45 seconds remaining in regulation. This is where we haven't been able to finish ball games, guys. Morgan State has lost of their eight losses. Seven of them have been by six points or less. Not being able to finish down the stretch has been the M.O., unfortunately. Let's see if the Bears can finish down the stretch, a dub as we're tied at 72 and 72. Well, if you made it out today, Coach Fly, fan in the stands, you got your price of admission because we got a barn burner here. Just shooting 54% from the line, you said LG for Alex Long, so they're gonna have to box out. Yeah, because the percentage is in your favor. He just made one. Does that mean this one he's gonna miss? <laughs> but that's why I was saying I would not have Davis on the same side of the floor as Butler for the box out. Get the six eight side backs on him and get help with Devin and his Prince because they have uh, Whitley at 6-3 on the other side. Put Davis over there because he got two inch size advantage. Butler can push you under that rim, and you do not want a putback if Long misses. That's Coach Jimmy Fly breaking it down on a Saturday. I'm Lamont Germany. Got Austin Ward by my side. We got a hoop happening here at Hillfield House on the Morgan State University campus. Off the timeout, Alex Long will be back at the free throw line for the Spartans of Norfolk State. Look at the break, what is a 72-72 tie with 45 seconds remaining in regulation. Alex Long takes aim at the second free throw, potential tie-breaking free throw. 6'8", 225, senior from Clinton, Maryland, takes and makes both free throws. Two for two from the free throw line. Spartans are in the Bears. 
are going at it from Hill Fieldhouse. Spartans are up one at 73-72. Although the scoreboard has Morgan up one, it should be Spartans up one. In the half court, Devin is Prince on the bounce left hand. Devin is Prince feeds Kyson Rawls. Rawls back to Devin is Prince. Devin is Prince spins in the lane, picks up the pill, looks for help to kick the side backs, 10 to shoot. Stanley Davis, top of the key. Stanley dribbles right in the lane to the cup, lays it up, a flash, one goal. Rebound corralled by the Spartans. No shot clock. Morgan has to foul. They foul Nick Thomas in the backcourt. Nick, an 80% free throw shooter, can give the Spartans a three point lead if he makes both free throws. 14 seconds remaining. And regulation. LG, mental mistake. Long got the rebound. You got to know he's a 54% shooter. As soon as he grabbed that rebound, you got to hack. They, they lost that opportunity. Now you got an 80% shooter on the line. Nick Thomas will be at the strike. And even if he makes them both, the Bears will have a window. The most they would be down is three. So they'd have the rock in an opportunity. But of course, if you're Morgan, you want Nick to miss. Thomas takes the first of two. Takes it, makes it. And you got Burke coming in the game from Martez Cameron. You got another three point shooter. You got Raw. They like to run the two corners all the way. You got Rawls and Devonis Prince both in the corners right now. Nick Thomas, big free throw here, would force Morgan to hit a three to maybe push this puppy into overtime with 15 seconds remaining in regulation. Thomas takes. Thomas makes both free throws. Spartans are up three. 75 72 13 seconds remaining in the ball game Morgan needs a three Isaiah Burke attacks to the cup lays it up and in gets the bucket Jerome's the foul hope in the hole for the freshman he'll be at the free throw line looking to complete the three point play it would tie the game at 75 and 75 um, if I'm uh, Norfolk coach Robert Jones, I, I'm seriously thinking about calling a timeout here well, we'll and on freezing this freshman to see if he can handle the pressure. Norfolk State does have two timeouts left. Morgan has one timeout remaining. This is big. This is huge. This is monumental. He misses the free throw. And that could be the ball game. Ah. We foul with seven seconds left as. Isaiah Burke, 15 of 18 on the season, coming in from the strike, could not hit the free throw that would have tied the ball game. The Bears foul Alex Long off the rebound. He'll be shooting one plus one with 6.9 seconds left. And if he makes both, Morgan would have time. Come on down the floor. They would need a three. But Alex Long steps to the strike. Looking to increase the Spartan 75 74 lead. Last time he was there, it looked good both times. He'll take and miss the free throw. At that time. Sometimes it's revealed why you're a 54% <laughs> free throw shooter. Now LG with 6.9. If he misses, you don't have to go over the three. You got the two to tie. If he misses this, two to win. Alex Long, one more toss. He'll take it. Bricks it. Six seconds left. Here comes Morgan looking for the win. Stanley Davis lays it up. Cries rim won't go. Put back off target. That's the ball game. Spartans hang on and hold off Morgan. 75 74. Morgan had a couple of opportunities to win the game. They got the missed free throws. But as has been the MO for Morgan all season long, losing close games in the MEAC. Another close one, fellas. Another loss in the MEAC. This one by one. Coach Jimmy Fly. Spartans 75, Morgan 74. Well, you remember early in the season, they lost that game with a Malik Monk on the tip end just at the buzzer. Similar situation.